Welcome to the Rock the Stage Show. Each week, international media expert Rich Bontrager has in-depth and personal conversations with celebrities, top leaders, authors, speakers, and media professionals. Now, from the Rock the Stage studios, here's your host, the Trigger, Rich Bontrager. Welcome back once again to Rock the Stage. It's Sunday night, and we're ready to go for another fantastic show Thanks for being us here. 7 o'clock Eastern Time every Sunday night. We're on the PPN Network, the Public Place Network. We're streaming globally now in 17 different countries, which is still blowing my mind. And, of course, we're on YouTube. You can join us with our Sunday night live chat discussions as we, we bring the broadcast back to you. Add your questions, add your comments, and become a part of the community and join us in what's all going on right here on Rock the Stage. But tonight, I'm going to start off a little bit differently than what I normally do because people are starting to ask me, how do you find these amazing guests, Trigger? What are you doing to pull them in? Because we've had actors, directors, films. We have authors. We've had people from all over the world now beaming in on Sunday nights. And you're getting curious of where they're coming from. And I have formal people helping me. I'm part of the team. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. And we also have informal people that I am loving more and more. So I have a formal celebrity guest wrangler. Robert Stack has been doing this for a very long time. I won't tell you how long, but maybe Robert will make an appearance here someday. But he's a professional celebrity wrangler. He's up and rocked the stage. Amazing guest. Sandra D. Robinson. We talk about Sandra. She's been on the show. You know, you know Sandra. She's also working on the team. They're bringing in a lot of celebrities. Her husband was on the show. He's a stuntman. Uh, and Chris Sturgis is one of our business partners with Rock to Stage Media. He helps now over the border in Canada with a lot of the uh, Vancouver and other people, the actors, directors up there. Now, it's getting more fun because you, the fans, are stepping up and becoming show wranglers for me. I have to never thought this was going to happen. I have Deborah G., Linda Fitz, and many others now that are actually pointing people to Rock to Stage to say you need to get on with Trigger. Tonight's guest is one of those people that I did not go after, but Sandra D. Robinson did. And that's why this is going to be a great show tonight, because she brought you someone very special. What would you do if you came to a very rare disease that paralyzed you from the neck down? Life was great. Life was wonderful. And then the disease literally cut you down. Would you stop? Would you fight? Would you curse the sky? Or would you find a way to reinvent yourself and not just reinvent yourself, but would you actually push forward with big, bold, crazy dreams? Tonight, we're going to have the ambassador of joy with us. Barry Shore is the founder of the EinsteinCares.com. Its mission is to give $1 billion, let me say that, $1 billion to the charity without costing any giver a single penny. Barry is a mental wellness activist due to the recovery from being a quadriplegic, not making that up. He is also the top 2% of podcasting worldwide. So this guy's no media. And he's a top 100 most influential people on LinkedIn, serial entrepreneur, speaker, author, and he swims two miles per day, six times a week. And if that's not enough, Barry is wired. Get ready for Barry Shore. Welcome to the show, Barry. Good day, beautiful, bound to be loving immortal beings and good looking people. Now, fabulous, rich. How can I make the categorical statement that the thousands, tens of thousands of people around the world that be watching and sharing this are all good looking? Because by definition, if they tune in to rock the stage, it means they're always looking for and finding the good in life. That's a definition of a good looking person, looking for and finding the good in life. There you go. That's a great introduction. And I'm telling you, you're in for a special treat. Barry is as amped up as I am. People say I'm kind of wired. Barry, would you say you're kind of wired a little bit? Are, are, are you a lover of life? So I'm glad you asked because one of the things that I do when I am privileged to be able to interact with people um, on these podcasts and also in person, recently I was able to speak with 1,127 people in the audience. By the way, 80% of them under the age of 35. I emphasize that because I really enjoy 
most of all speaking with people under 35 because I am not, I'm no longer age 35. And it's really important that people see someone of a different age group than either of us. So yes. it was a privilege to speak. And I'm telling you a story about uh, Barry Short. I'm discussing the three fundamentals of life. The three fundamentals are number one, number one, life, your life has purpose. And when you really need a purpose-driven life, number two happens. In this case, a good number two. You go MAD. Now, MAD is a wonderful acronym. It stands for Make a Difference. If you lead a purpose-driven life, guess what happens? You make a difference in the world. And the third fundamental is to uncover the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms. Simple example, Rich, you just said this is now shown in 17 countries around the world, right? Yeah. This is carried over the internet. Ask anybody, what does WWW stand for? Invariably, those stands over the internet. Now, factually speaking, they're correct. However, in our world, Rich, in the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant, WWW stands for What a Wonderful World. <laughs> you know that song by Louis Armstrong, Snatchmo? What a wonderful world. What a, is the word, right? W-H-E-T-A. And you got to say thank you to him because that song hasn't just touched millions of people. or yes. tens of millions, a hundred billions oh. of people around the planet know that song. And what do you do right away, Rich, when you hear the opening bars? What a wonderful world. What do you do? What do you do? I right start singing along. You smile. I smile and I sing along. I can't help myself. Yeah, you can't. Singing is one of the most beautiful things that any human being can do. Right now, that's what we're doing. Rich and I are singing to each other, right? And thank you for listening in, everybody out there. Because that's what we're doing. We're sitting in the back porch. We're sharing a nice um, adult beverage. And we're enjoying. Because that's you asked me about life. So yes. life is one of those great acronyms. Life stands for living inspirationally for eternity. See, oftentimes people think, oh, I'm just a person, or I'm only here for a little while. When you start thinking like that, you're shrinking your oh, being. Yeah. You want to expand your being. Everybody, every single person that's involved with our show, with your show, and that people we touch, we try to inspire them to the point of transformation, not inspiration, not information. We love the T word. That's who you are. You're a T man transformation <laughs> think eternity when you speak to somebody and you say hello and you share with them a positive purposeful powerful pleasant idea you know what you're doing you're creating the ripples of joy well now you've been doing that for a while so i'm going to back up the train a little bit because i put out there you were quadriplegic and one person particularly said i saw a testimony on you barry shore is a enigma of creation, a quadriplegic to now swimming. So please explain some of the backstory. But that's insane. In, okay. I am insane. I'm happy to say that. <laughs> Sanity is something we don't want to be involved with. <laughs> because when you, you the reason I mention, I, and I don't say it tongue in cheek, I mean it really in the most positive, purposeful way. So let me tell everybody a quick story which is I talk about when I'm in person and when we do these, I'm standing up in the morning. Imagine this for yourself, standing up in the morning, completely healthy and hearty, able to leave tall buildings in a single bound. That evening, I'm in the hospital, totally, completely paralyzed, my neck down. Nothing in my body moves. And it was not from an automobile accident. It wasn't a spinal injury. It was a rare disease, which I never heard of the day before, Rich takes over my body and causes me to become what's called a quadriplegic. It means nothing the body moved from my neck down. I could only communicate by blinking my eyes. I was 144 days in the hospital. I was in a hospital bed in my own home for two years. I couldn't move. I was in a wheelchair for four years. I had braces on both my legs, to my hips, to my ankles. That was progress. Thank God today I'm able to be vertical and ambulatory with the help of a seven-foot walking wand. So I'm a tripod, not a biped. I can't walk up a stair by myself. I can't walk up a curb by myself. I have helped 12 hours a day, seven days a week. So imagine I'm standing up in the morning, completely healthy and hearty. Next day, I'm in the I'm completely paralyzed. Yes. Hello, change of life. Yeah. Am I smiling and happy and saying, hey, look at me, everybody, I'm paralyzed. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I'm human. Yeah. However, and by the way, I couldn't even talk, so it didn't matter. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't even say it if I wanted to. I will tell you one story. Just to emphasize, 
I was, I said, I was in the hospital over four and a half months. Within the first couple of weeks, they were still running a lot of tests on me to find out what I have. They knew within a day or so what it was, and it's it's irreversible. It's a very rare disease, and he just has to run his course. Maybe one out of every two hundred thousand people in America oh, get it. So it's very rare, and yeah. very few people get it to the extent that I had it. People who get what I had, which is called Guillain-Barré syndrome, GBS for the cognoscenti, very few people get completely paralyzed. I was completely paralyzed. It was like that for years. Yeah. Here's the story that I think you're going to love. And, and I say it specifically for people listening, to take heart when things happen. So we had a, a nurse. It was a male nurse. And he had, with, with some help, they picked me up and they moved me around in a gurney doing things. And he was bringing me back to my room. He had been with me around three or four days already. And he stopped the gurney in the middle of the, of the hallway. I remember all I could do was look up. He leans down and he says to me, Mr. Shore, can I ask you a personal question? So I could barely speak above a whisper. So I said, yes. He said, look, uh, I specialize in people who are paralyzed and such. Uh, this is what I do. I've never met anybody who's not angry and bitter. How come you're not bitter and angry? There we go. And Rick, Rich, I just realized he asked me, the great existential question. You ready? Why me, God? Why did you do this to me? That's how it normally goes. That's not what I was asking. What I was asking was, okay, God, nice guy. I'm just a regular guy. What am I supposed to do now? I'm completely, totally paralyzed. Nothing moves. No idea if I'm ever going to move a muscle ever again, anything. And I got to tell you something. It's hard to say the words, but I want everybody to take heart with this. I surrendered completely. At that very moment, Trigger, yeah. I experienced the greatest calm in my entire 55 years on the planet. Let me jump in for a second. I mean, I've gone through a fire accident, and I've experienced that when I was 10 years old. Very seriously burned. I could have died. I went through a liver transplant. I'm now celebrating seven years on a second life. And the same thing happened. There was a peace, a calmness, a chaos, fear, destruction in your life. My career path stopped for five years. But at the same time, it was like, whoosh, we've got you. And keep smiling, keep your head up. So I experienced the same thing you did when doctors asked me. They're like, you're the happiest walking dead man. <laughs> And isn't it fun to be the weird one? Isn't it fun to be the one that makes them think and re-ask questions like they did to you and me? So one of the reasons I am humbled and honored to be together with you today or tonight when people are watching this is to use these ideas, these stories to help people because everybody needs it. Everybody needs yes. lunch. So when people say to me, you're the ambassador of joy, it's easy for you, Barry. You're rich and famous and handsome and such. Okay, that's all true. However, <laughs> let's be blunt, regular guy. Joy is an amazing acronym. I urge everybody, think about this, write it down, use it. Joy is an acronym that stands for journey of you. That's what it is. This show is not about Barry Shaw, great guy that he is, or Trigger, fabulous fellow. It's about you. It's I do have to mention, be, before everyone gets lost in all the acronyms, Barry does have a book, A Pocket Full of Acronyms. He loves them. Absolutely it loves them. Is, so if you want to go check him out, you have to go get the book, Pocket Full of Acronyms, because he'll do this all night long, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and all... I've been privileged to publish four books in the past 16 months and they're all available on my website, which uh, Rich is going to put up there, barryshore.com. You can get any one of the books as an ebook, absolutely free. Um, just, I don't want you to just get it, which is important to do. That's a sign of a winner, by the way. Sign of a winner is somebody who takes action. Get a book, use it. I don't care if you read two pages a day. It's transformational. It will help you. The joy of living, pocket full of acronyms. Oh, shift. 
<laughs> Call talk about oh shift. You're gonna be. I, that's the new one. That's the new book. Right. Or the newest one is reframing the art of living. So I want to just do a little shift for the moment, wonderful Rich, and, and discuss something we've talked about. Smile. I got to tell you a quick story, by the way. So I'm going to tell you something. My eight-year-old niece came over to me a few weeks ago, eight years old. And she says, Uncle Barry, Uncle Barry, can we spell smile, S-M-I-E-L? I thought about it. Smile, smile. It's not the same. Why not? After I'll come. She says, because then it would stand for seeing miracles in everyday life. <laughs> I don't mean a year old. But what was she doing? She was creating the kind of world she wants to live in. Create stands for causing rethinking, enabling all to excel. That's the key. Rethinking. What's rethinking, reframing, and you had to do it. I've had to do that. Many people have had to do it. But it's also interesting because you took it to the next level. You have become, the, it's, you're in the top 2% of all podcasts in the world, Barry. So again, you've done something to get people to listen to this, to pay attention to it, to wake up to all these concepts you're talking about. What's it like for you to be in that top 2%, to know that you literally have millions, that's not an exaggeration, millions of people listening to your show, looking for these golden nuggets. What's it like for you to know you have that platform? So again, I am... <clears throat> humbled and honored to be involved with life. Remember what we talked about? Yeah. Living inspirationally for eternity. So as you mentioned, I had Sandra D on my show because I was on somebody else's show who recommended Sandra D and Sandra said, you got to be on Rich's show. So it's this continuous yes. movement towards good. Now, one of the things that I like to tell people is I love using four letter words. Now, of course, the four-letter words that we use trigger, because we do, we do want people to be triggered by these four-letter words. The four-letter words we use, because we live in the world of the positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant. The four-letter words we use are life, love, hope, free, play, gift, grow, yeah. swim. And I even use the four-letter F-U word because of the shock value. It's fun. You ready? The four-letter F-U word is fun. Fun. F-U, capital N, capital N. Now, I know some people in the audience right away, Rich, are raising their hands, hey, Barry Shore, fun's only spelled with three letters, not in our world. In the world of the positive purpose, power, and pleasant, fun is spelled F-U, capital N, capital N. So after our show here, I urge everybody, go to your family and friends and point your finger and tell everybody, F-U. And right away, capital N and said, we climb it. Where'd you get that? I said, well, I listened to Trigger and he had on this guy who wants to take the world to F you. <laughs> now you have a, a their attention. You can talk about, what are you talking about? He's talking about joy. He's talking about love. He's talking about life. He's talking about living exuberantly. Okay. What do we do about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, and again, well, with everything else you've gone through, You've also become an advocate for mental illness because so many people are struggling. And the, the hardest part of going through a physical adversity and anything else in life, it's the mental game. The mental game is the thing that spirals all out of control. Being an advocate, having your story and your mission behind you, what are you telling people with, when it comes to the whole mental side of this journey we go through? So let me tell you what I don't tell people. Hey, just put a smile on your face. Everything will be fine. It's all good. Yeah. Because why? People don't hear that. No. What I do tell people is if you can look at what I've been through and what I do, it may help you to what I, and that's why the title of my book is called O Shift. And when we spell it, we use Scrabble tiles and we spell it S-H-I, and the F is a little bit low line, and then the T. Because it's about a small shift in perspective. This is what yes. I urge everybody. If you find nothing else from this show, and it's a great show, so I hope you get more than this. this. However, this will suffice for what you want to do the rest of your life. Learn the six most important words that you'll ever, ever internalize, utilize, and leverage. These six words are choice, not chance determines your destiny. Yes. 
how you choose to respond in any given situation. And yep. let's be blunt, situations oftentimes are very difficult. How yep. you choose to respond in any given situation will determine your path and the trajectory of your life. Well, and it's a daily choice. It's not a one-time choice. And that's why some people struggle with that. Because they think, I made a choice and it still didn't work out. And you have to go back and say, this is a daily choice to pick up the go, to pick up the go. You, you didn't jump in the pool one day and just start swimming. You had a <laughs> choice to get up and get in shape, try to do it, learn how the body works again. And you had to do small things and say, I'm going back in the pool tomorrow. I'm going back in the pool. So it's a daily choice. And people miss that part of this conversation, Barry. So everybody, you should be applauding right now and say, I'm so glad I listened to Trigger. <laughs> Can you okay. say that again, please? No. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. And again, story about me. And you mentioned about doctors and such. So when I was leaving the hospital after 144 days, I'd been in three different hospitals. And I wanted to walk out of the hospital. It didn't happen. <laughs> I was still paralyzed. And, and as, as we're leaving, I had three different doctors have to sign off and tell me, come to visit me one at a time. And they all had their bedside manner. And none of them were very pleasant. And it was all about... You know, Mr. Shaw, you're never going to walk again, this kind of stuff. However, we have a lot of things that you probably you can do. We're here to help you, and you can live a full life. Yeah, but there was a downer. Now, I didn't yell at them and say, you have no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to be walking. I'm going to do this. And <laughs> I just let it. That's they, they do what they do. I knew what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do is to fulfill whatever I can do. I, I didn't know. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm home. Such things happen. And again, I, I'm just protoplasm. I can't move. Uh, one of my helpers took me out uh, outside one day after we got home in the wheelchairs. And one of my neighbors comes running over and says, I know I heard what happened. Don't worry. I'll have you up and out of that chair and walking within a year. <laughs> now, I know, I know this guy. We've been, we've been neighbors for 16 years or so. Great guy. And he tells me, look, you know who I am. I am America's greatest aquatic therapist. That means they put you in the pool and they do things. Okay, great. Now, I love people that think highly of themselves. <laughs> he didn't say, I know everything in the world. He just said, I'm the best aquatic therapist. So I, I trust him. I love him. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm just protoplasm. Let's do it. So now he gets me in the pool. And there are lots of processes, by the way. You don't just jump in the pool. Oh, like, no. This special equipment, get you in and get you out. Anyway, suffice it to say, over the course of the next year or two, he had his people moving me. They had special devices on my arms and my tummy and my legs so I wouldn't drown, just trying to get some movement, anything. After about two years, one day, Rich, I moved my arms off my shoulders, my right arm and then my left arm. And I, I did it again. I, the, basically, I did a a backstroke. I did three of these things. I hit my head against the side of the pool and it hurt. I said, yay! Because I moved. I moved. <laughs> and it moved in years, right? Yeah. I managed to turn myself around and somehow push off just because I can't move my legs. Right. And I, I, I told her, don't touch me. And I just kept moving back and forth in the pool. I didn't stop for 98 minutes. Well, well, well that's, that's why you're Insane. An enigma. Yeah, I mean, insane. You're an enigma. That, that just doesn't happen. But I can understand it because once you taste it, once you feel it, you know you're alive again. That bump in the head on the side of the pool tells you, I'm alive. I got to do it again. Yeah. So now I want to show everybody why I'm so humbled and honored to be with this guy. So I said, wait a minute. They took me out of the pool. People are applauding. I, I'm, I'm exhausted. But I moved. I moved. I can't. On dry land, it was very difficult. Gravity pushed. I, I've fallen too many times. It hurts. It's all kinds of the water. Hello. I said, if I could do it once, I could do it again. So yeah. came back a few days later, tried it again. I swim a mile. It took me 98 minutes every each time. I swim a mile. If I did it twice in a week, I could do it three times. So I'm, I'm making the story very short. Yes. So I have to say, years later now, in addition, I still have to wear devices on my legs. So they don't sink. I wear something on my hands because they don't close with paddles. I use a snorkel, but now I can swim on my tummy as well. I now swim two miles a day, six days a week. I've been doing it for almost 15 years. 
And let me see, we're in July. As of May, middle of May of this year, 2024, I swam mile number 9,601. Now, you hear yourself saying that. (laughs) Step out of your body for a minute and look and listen to yourself. Do you realize what that means and what that, the power of that? Right. It's not, that's a third, more than a third of the way around the world. And here's what you're going to love, Trig. When I make videos about this, I did make a little 55. Yeah. Seconds, and it went around the world, thank God. And said, I said, I'm making this. Look, I swim because I love it. I have great tan. It keeps me healthy. I'm not swimming for me. I'm swimming for all the people in the world who say, I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. Anything. Move. Do something. When you do that, you move out of that place where you were. You shift. Keep that F in place so the other stuff happens. And now you make the choice, like Rich said. I choose to get in the pool. I choose to wake up with a positive, yes. purposeful, powerful, pleasant attitude. I choose to tell the world to F you. Capital N, capital N. <laughs> So let me take this to the next step because you're mentioning your desire to be a man of impact, impact and change. And you also have this amazing app. Oprah Winfrey said it's one of her favorite, favorite, favorite apps. So Oprah's behind you. It's not not bad, Barry, but you're the founder of this. Your mission is to give $1 billion to charity without costing any giver a penny. You are on a mission in so many different ways, but tell me about the app and about this charity, your heart to give back to help others, because that's at the core of who you are. So this is all because of anything, by the way, that people hear about Barry Shore. Nice guy. Fabulous guy. I'm not the hero of the story. The hero of the story is my wife, my wife, Naomi. So we were married. This happened. I became paralyzed at the age of 55. I'm now 75 chronologically. So we were married 27 years when I became paralyzed. And now we're married 47 years. And yes, many people have told me, told her, very few people would have made it through. No. Just living with me anyway is not easy. Okay. But to go through paralysis and the things she had to do with taking care of me, and we had help. 12 hours a day, seven days a week, is the, t- the tension, the difficulties, the realities of life. So my wife, I told her I had a, a vision. Well, again, while I'm paralyzed, she want me raising money to give people, help people with um, wheelchairs. So I had three wheelchairs, an electric one, not a mechanized one, and lightweight one. It cost over $30,000, my wheelchairs. Yeah. And she came in and said, can we give $500 to a place to give help people with wheelchairs? So I whispered. I said, yes, of course. So thank God we had the money to give. Yeah. I told my wife, I said, I, because I was trying to fuse my business background into doing something different. I'm not here to make money. I mean, m- making money is a wonderful thing. I love it. I'm right. Just, that, that's not the mission here. Although God willing, we make money to keep the business going. The point is, I told her, I, ha- I have a vision where people could go shopping. They could earn money for shopping and they would give money to something they care about. It wouldn't cost them a penny. So she said to me, you're smart. Figure it out. She walked out of the room. <laughs> so now I, I can't move anywhere. I can't go. I'm just, I'm just protoplasm on a bed, right? I didn't move for years. And I prayed and I meditated and I asked, please, I'm telling you, Rich, yeah. I, had, I had the vision. I knew exactly yeah. what happened to happen. The reality is at the tech wasn't there for another 15 years. Wow. So now, fast forward, over the years, tried to build the model and this and that. We tried it, didn't work. Kept trying, kept trying. And the, thank God about four years ago now, we got really close and now we're about to, ready to launch. And then when you hear it, it's so simple. You say, why didn't anybody do this before? And there's only one reason. They weren't paralyzed. They didn't care. Right. Was, people build businesses either because they want to make money and they help others make money. It's great. Yep. Or you want to give. There are many sites out there where you can buy something and give money. Many sites where you can buy something and you get money. There's no other site on the internet where you can go shopping at, let's say, Amazon or Best Buy and, and thousands of other places 
Yeah. And you use your existing credit card, existing credit card. You register it once on EinsteinCares.com. That's it. As long as you're on the system and the business is on the system, thousands of restaurants, thousands of businesses, just tap your card and the magic happens. You well, get money back and you're giving money to the cause of your choice, not Rich's choice, not Barry's choice, not the merchant's, your choice. This has got to be another gift to those agencies trying to do the charity work, trying to help people. The fact that you are funneling it and letting people decide where it goes, but you are the conduit. The Einstein app is a conduit to get the money where it deserves to go as an individual choice. What a gift. And gift is a wonderful acronym. It stands for Godly Inspiration Facilitating Transformation. Yes, we want to give a billion dollars to charity without costing any giver a penny. I'll give you a quick story, if I may. We have a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Okay, so everybody I think remembers 10 years ago or so, it was, uh, they called the Ice Bucket Challenge. Yes, I did it. <laughs> okay, same here. So people put ice water, thank God most of it was during the summer, put ice water over your head yeah. and make a video and you challenge a friend to do the same thing and give money, yeah. right? And it went viral. 17 million people did it, raised $139 million at ALS. And it was just a great thing. Yeah. That was 10 years ago. I've been studying that for the past 10 years. I came up with a name for it. And the name for it is called Philanthrotainment. Okay. Pretty cool because it's philanthropy and entertainment. Fun. Yeah. Einstein Cares is the embodiment of philanthropy. Why? There's nothing more fun than shopping. <laughs> shopping. You know, I, I have friends who are really dedicated, devoted fishermen, fisher people. I mean, they have all kinds of equipment and such like that, guys and girls. And somebody mentioned what I mentioned recently in a seminar I was giving. Somebody said, uh, uh, Barry, I want to disagree with you. I think fishing is more fun than, than shopping. And I asked him, I said, did you recently buy any equipment? You say, yeah, I bought a $750 rod because of that. Okay, fine. Now, wouldn't it be great that you bought that on this? I mentioned a website. You say, yeah, I go shop there. And you bought it and, you, and they gave you 2% cash back and 2% went to the charity of choice. So you made $15 and you gave $15. Would you love that? He said, I'm in, I'm in. Well, like I've seen the endorsement by some of the celebrities that have done this. But I'm curious, how much along the way are you toward that $1 billion mark? Where, where, where are you at on your dream? We haven't even launched the site yet. Everything I'm telling you, it, it, was been, it takes time and effort and a lot of money to build these things. So anybody who's listening now, I don't know when this is going to be airing, go to EinsteinCares.com, sign up for early access. And if we've already launched, you'll be there. And if not, sign up. By the, by the millions. Now, at the moment, it's for people only in the United States of America to use, but we will be going worldwide pretty soon. It, but it's, it's just so cool because it combines everything you want. It, philanthropy, entertainment, giving, earning. There's nothing better in life. And by the way, why do we call it Einstein Cares? You know, yeah. that guy with the white hair sticking out. <laughs> the smartest guy in the world the past hundred years, right? Yep. But he wasn't just a genius. He was very caring person. So we, we called it Einstein Cares because we touched the two most powerful aspects of the human being, Trig. And these two are I'm smart and I'm good. You can't get much smarter than going shopping and making money. You can't get much gooder than going shopping and giving money. Something you care about doesn't cost you a penny. Hello? Well, we're going to make sure we have that link in the show description. So as you view it, watch it, make you go down below Check out the show description. Hit that link and go check it out. And speaking about checking out websites and stuff, this is Barry. Look at that guy. That's a big stick, Barry. A big stick. But I want you to hit the QR code, check out his website, learn more about Barry. And Barry, what are they going to find when they go there? Everybody should go to barryshore.com. B-A-R-R-Y-S-H-O-R-E. Experience joy. Notice I didn't say joy. Joy, because remember, joy stands for journey of you. You make a difference. I'd like to leave people with um, three quick things, if I may, wonderful, Rich. Oh, absolutely. 
One of them is, a, but we can't explain it for the full. I'm going to ask you to have me back again. We'll do a little more. One is a great acronym that's called Learn to Love Dog Poop. Did Barry just say dog poop? Yes, he did. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that to settle in here for him. Everybody knows dog poop. I mean, if, if you live in America these days, you can't walk along the streets and not see it somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay. So next time you're walking along, if you're with a friend especially, the best thing to do is start laughing out loud. And your friend would say, what is that all about? He said, I love dog poop. So what are you talking about? Well, Barry says dog poop stands for doing of good power of one person when you recognize that you as a human being have the same exact power as gandhi nelson mandela mother Teresa. yes every these people were no different Be, you have the power to make a difference you reach out with one hand your right hand to the left hand to a friend to a friend reaching out to two to four to eight 16 32 it keeps multiplying you know what we do we create a tsunami of goodness learn to love dog poop doing of good power of one person i love that because now i'm gonna go a bit corny here cheesy but the TV show Knight Rider, years ago, years ago, Knight Rider opened up with the opening monologue that one man can make a difference. What you're touching on is that everyone can make a difference. Regardless of your station in life, your history, your background, whatever, you can step into time and make a difference. And I don't think we hear that enough anymore, Barry. Well, that's rich, isn't that why we're doing this show? Our, I believe so. Our mission on this earth is to bring that forth. And it's, with Rich just said, an interaction with somebody at the checkout counter at the airport, on a telephone. Yes. If someone is, is trying to help you and you're calling in someplace and you get frustrated, the most important thing you can do at that moment is say, I recognize you have a tough job and you're doing it well. Yes. You just changed the world. You changed the world. Because everybody that's listening to us is mad. Remember what mad stands for? Mm -hmm. Make a difference. So everybody, order a book. You can get one of the four books absolutely free. Not just get it, use it. And then you want to get physical books? Get physical. <laughs> <laughs> get my website. They're much ex less expensive than Amazon. And, and get them, use them, give them out, and such like that. So with your permission, Rich, I'd like to do two things. Yeah. One of them is to... Um, give a big hug to you and everybody listening and watching. And, got the, it. and the second thing is to give a, a, a blessing. Can we do that? Oh, I would love that, my friend. Okay, so let's give a, a hug. And let's tell everybody what hug stands for. Hug stands for heartfelt, unlimited giving. Heartfelt, unlimited giving on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. By the way, I'm a hugger by nature, so I love that. <laughs> and our blessing from Barry and Rich is go forth, live exuberantly, spread the seeds of joy, happiness, peace, and love. That's Barry Shore, everybody, the ambassador of joy. Thank you very much, Barry, for being our guest tonight on Rock the State Show. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And again, you do want to check that, that that website out. You do want to go the books, the stories, the acronyms, and just learn more about this amazing man and what he's doing. But again, from a quadriplegic to everything you heard him talk about, he has rewritten the script of his life and doing amazing, amazing things. Also, go find the Joy of Living broadcast. Okay? It's part of one of the top 2% podcasts in all the world and I'm sure Barry goes off with that high energy every show more and more and more. And that's going to do it for tonight's episode of Rock the State Show. And again, I didn't make it possible. Our team made it possible with amazing people reaching out to find the best people to bring. Sunday night, 7 o'clock, right here in 7 on the Rock the State Show. We'll see you back here next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. You never know who's going to show up on Rock the State Show. <laughs>